guys, I'm Exec Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Sim Airport. We are still building Dubai International. We've got some flights going in and out. Good. And we have started work on getting our um, our second terminal building in. Uh, so let's just do that. Clear that out. Okay, so here we can see... Ooh, that's a little weird. Uh, so we probably need to to extend that foundation a little bit like so um, and then we can start clearing these out so ooh, no that's what I wanted to do let's clear those out over there and then we can start seeing how we put this into the next building um, so yes then we've got the first floor and the second floor ready for action um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go up to a third floor, uh, even though that is how Dubai International is set up. I'm not going to do that. What I'd rather do is um, do a similar setup and have the lounges and then feed to the gate straight from the lounges. Uh, but I'll have the lounges at the lower level. That is kind of what I what I think I'm going to do, because. Um, since all of these plane gates feed from the top, this is very kind of un unused space. So we'll, we'll feed up to the top instead of down, like you see, and um, at Dubai with the with the big big terminals there. Okay, so let's see. So the guys are doing their thing. I'll speed things up a little bit so that we can uh, get through this a little bit quicker. That's the plan, at least. Uh, uh, baggage handling, baggage handling, we'll have to have a start looking at how we deal with baggage handling, but baggage handling just goes back over there, so all we'll do is we'll just make sure we'll start building a few of the hubs that we need, um, so we're going to build these things, these baggage depots, uh, and the baggage depots won't build unless we have a lower level there, so let's see, baggage depot, ticketing desk, baggage depot so if we try and place it here it doesn't actually work so how was this one set up in this uh, specific direction and then it works like that so we just need to start building out um, some underground uh, foundations for these baggage depots um, foundations there we go and I'm kind of wondering whether we really need multiples yeah, we probably do. We probably do. Can this one f be fed from that side? I don't quite know. So let's... Um, actually, let's just do one on each side. I think let's try that. Let's see if that is sufficient. So let's do that. That's about center. Okay, so let's just do something like that. Okay, that's probably a little big this it's actually showing up um, a similar thing on this side exactly there we go so two of them over there and what we'll do is we'll squeeze in another one oh we're actually at the edge ah that's gonna be can that work though Let's see, maybe that actually does work. So let's build it anyway and see if that works. Okay, so now that's done. So let's take the clearing here and we'll do that. So these guys. So now we've got this. So this is the... Okay, so let's start seeing. So this is feeding out. This is the out movement. Okay, so we need to bear that in mind. Let's quickly get our walkway, moving walkway in place. So what I'm thinking is we'll just wrap it straight up here and since there's no need to go anywhere else we'll just feed it like that so now that's just the moving walkway all the way there we're gonna do a similar setup from this one all the way through to the other side that is a long way away probably build a train instead Okay, up to there, so that's at least one long, at least you don't have to do anything else along the way. Um, okay, so these are coming down. So let's just start with some stairs. 
stairs uh, just so we can have a look so if we start with some stairs we just want to space these out appropriately so they're coming down toward to get out so if we do that what is that percentage blocked by pending construction okay then we take a gap so let's go up a level and now we need to uh, flip this around basically uh, like so as stairs and now what we will need to do is we need to get the escalators going the escalator down right there right there right there we'll, we'll do that as a starting point we'll go up a level and we'll do escalator down hang on hang on hang on hang on, hang on. the one thing that I'm just thinking about if I actually do all of this let's just start with that there's some escalators to start with okay from this one we have escalators going up uh, but we'll have s the stairs first so let's start with some stairs just so that we don't uh, lock things out for now we may have a look at oh did we we actually gave it a bit of a gap right one space so let's just do the same thing here we'll do that and then we'll do escalators up escalators up so we need one two we need room there one two three escalators up like so so that's the starting point of what we're doing over here if we go to this floor so what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to feed people out from this level uh, so that is why a third floor is probably going to be necessary though the third floor I'm quite keen that we just do that um, a little bit more I don't know a little bit uh, not the full thing we'll just kind of have a um, little little spines out yes so we will do a third floor um, with sp kind of spines out to the various spots I think that's kind of what I'm what I'm trying to say so let's go first floor and then third floor so let's do a little bit of foundation here on the third floor um, let's start with planning okay let's start with planning so let's just grab the yellow one and I'm gonna say I wanna do about 20 away from anything is that is that gonna be okay shall we do it 25 25 away from anything okay uh, like so yeah I think that's a little bit more realistic oops that's didn't wanna go all the way to there did the same thing there 25 and twenty five and we'll clear these ones being a little bit of a perfectionist over here which is for planning sake so okay now so this area is I think what we're gonna build out and then what we're gonna do is depending on how we actually get our so let's get our uh, our our kind of gate gates in gates. So we're gonna do the large gates over here. So let's start fitting them in. Build our large gates, five of them. So that is a fairly substantial. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll get our XL gates up and running. Um, and I think I said we need to start it here, right? Okay, so let's do so I'm not you can actually run it all the way there. Anyway, let's see. So one, two, three, and four. And then similarly we'll do two, 
three and four. So these percentages of construction is definitely new. And what we'll do is over here we'll oops squeeze in five more of these. So we're gonna have lots of uh, smaller flights on this one on this terminal. Ten of them. Okay, so now if we go up to this planning level over here, so what we'll want to do is we will want to uh, feed out at each one of these somehow. So that is going to be a bit tricky to try and get that to work. So let's get the planning tool up and running. So let's maybe see if we say our... We do something like that. And something like that potentially. Well, well, we'll see how we do it. That's still a little bit, um, a little bit problematic though. So where's the center line of this thing? Well, let's run it from this center line here. So three that way and three this way. We'll feed that in there, and then we'll do six up to around there for now. And similarly up to around there on that side. Okay, same thing over here. What we'll do is we'll run six like that up in there, and we'll do six like so up to there, and like so up to there. Okay, and I'm kind of wondering how that'll work. I'm not necessarily convinced it'll work. One, two, three, one, two, three, and up there. Yeah, so I'm not convinced it'll work. This uh, what I'm planning here will actually work. So what I'm kind of going to do is the intention is that the lounge is up here and that from this business lounge you would then actually go to to the various um, to, to your various gates and have a separate gate agent that then that then feeds you down some escalators or whatever to get to your to your plane from the third level so what I'm gonna do is at the very least I'm gonna start the construction on the foundation piece right there Okay, so they can start working on that um, so that we can get things up there. That is a pretty sizable terminal building. How did we go with uh, with today's flights? Are they are they still looking good? Let's see the morning flights. Any any problems? No problems whatsoever. So everything is working well. I'm loving our new scheduling. Oh, I think we probably will need to make use of some other planes um, also. Because I just don't think Emirates is giving us anymore, and I, I I do notice. Wow, Emirates took out everything. Well, we took. Well, we did take it in the last one, and their rating is very low, very low. We've got 46 uh, scheduled Emirates flights, so we can really start squeezing in some more. But the evenings are a little busier than the mornings, so we should probably look at doing that. And now we've got tons more gate, ton more gates. Uh, actually, what we should do is uh, start numbering them accordingly so this will be in my mind this is now going to be the B terminal so where on earth is B B1 uh, probably up here right and actually then it's okay then we'll just start numbering it over there um, so let's just make this whatever we we want okay and now let's just say B1 B2, B3, B4, and B5. Okay, and we'll keep going up here. We'll say that's B6. B6, okay. <coughs> B7. Yeah, it's a little bit the other way around. Um, the, the older terminal in Dubai is the B terminal or the B concourse. And then the newer one is the A concourse, but we're not going to flip them around now. We we can we can obviously flip them around. 
but I don't think that's too important. The uh, it's the it's the thought that counts. Uh, B13, B14 over here. Wow, there's a lot of gates available here at the B concourse. B15, B16, B17, and B18. So 18 gates. That is that is fairly sizable. It's about the same size as I think the the new A concourse in Dubai. So I think it's got 19 gates or something like that. I'm not too sure. Don't go quote me on that. Or tell me in the comments if you know better. It's interesting how they're building this now. They used to kind of build it in little rows. Now they're just building it from the center and they're just kind of moving out. Look at that. Little circular, circular movement over here. Okay, so going down... Oh, so this actually... Going down should actually be from here. So what I should do is I should get rid of this one okay and then this one should keep going up so let me get some stairs over here stairs we'll start with stairs we'll see if we can remove them at some point I don't like the idea do we have elevators yet Escalators, no elevators. Okay, so escalators. Well, let's get escalators. This is escalators going up, yeah. So we'll do up, up, and up to the next level. That one probably needs to be removed over there. Probably need to work in some security over here. There is so much work to be done to get the next terminal up and running. And is this already done? Not quite yet. Yeah, I'm wondering how we will. We'll see how we how we do the queuing for these things, a little bit. But we'll probably need to start the building of that too. So let's get the foundations up and running. We pro we could pro possibly extend them uh, at a later stage, but for now let's get that built, and we'll get this built. get this one built over here and we'll get that one built over there whether whether they are long enough I don't know just yet so we'll build this and that and we'll build this and we'll build that so once they finish that, they can move on to those. Uh, okay, let's have a quick look at what happened yesterday. Did we get all of our flights? There's a flight that didn't happen. Everything else was working apart from this flight that never departed. It never arrived. It never arrived. This one never arrived either. Not sure why that's the case. Did, did, does that mean we got the bonus or we did not get the bonus? Let's see. Ooh, it's on this one. Perfect opt bonus. Nope. Yet again, we didn't get it. Oops, missing a flight here. We had we had 50 flights. Now we only have 48. Are we dropping flights? For, oh, the flight. There were two flights that didn't come in. Hmm. Wonder why. Wonder why. Okay, and I'm kind of wondering if we should look at, at these things are in good condition, right? Yeah, there's not there's not a condition problem here. Yeah, yeah, all the all is good condition. The one thing that I was wondering about, and I think I don't think there's any research that I'm missing out on. Everything is there, upgraded buses and the things like that. What I was thinking about was um, standby terminals, uh, and that I haven't actually used them, and I don't quite know how to use them or oh, standby gates at least flights standby gates Let's see standby gates so how do I say so how do I say standby gate what, what does a standby gate do my, my, look my understanding of a standby gate is that it is a gate that is available for a plane to go to if uh, the other gates if, if its actual assigned gate is full but how do I ah clear okay so what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to assign one of the large gates as a standby for the morning. So XL12 will be a standby gate for the entire day. That's brilliant. So we'll have a standby gate assigned. There we go. So now that we've got one standby gate. So anybody who's missing a spot can actually go to the standby gate. Okay, and it can fit large or small planes. So A12 is a completely standby gate, which is a very misuse of the actual gate. But there is a standby gate there, so now at least, if things go wrong, we can actually have them go to A12, the standby gate over here that is not getting anything done there. Okay, this has been built, this has been built, still all building little bits and pieces over there, so let's go over here, let's get the clear action in place, and let's start clearing that piece over there, we'll start clearing... this yeah these aren't very wide though I may have to um, make them wider at some point but for now they'll they'll do get those things cleared so yes that's our third floor is up and running these things have been done okay so let's quickly go to the utilities we'll grab our baggage depot where did we want to place that? It was pretty central, right? Let's just have a look at this. Uh, it's a little bit up. Want to? Uh, let's see. We can, we should be able to acknowledge where it is. So it's just a little bit down from from there. Okay. So let's just do that. Actually, let's get it. Straight up there, something like around that should do the trick. So there we'll build one over there. I believe there is a similar spot over here somewhere for us to make use of. Let's just make sure that we have it at the right kind of level. So where do we want to place this? Up around here. Okay, so if we see... That's around there. Let's place it there. See how that works. So yes, and uh, I think we do have one. We did build the one up here. I'm hoping it'll work out for us if we squeeze it in. Nice. We can squeeze it in there. See how that works out. Okay, good stuff. So now at least we've got that going on. These can probably be be geared from here. Or we'll find some other place for it good stuff this thing is going great well obviously spending tons of money to do that sort that out so if I do escalators escalators down how wide are they gonna be let's just see so they that kind of thing so what we need to do is we need to do the escalator from the one side and oof, and that's going to start to be problematic. It's it's definitely going to be problematic. We'll see how we do this. We'll see how we do this. So let's uh, we'll need to prototype this a little bit. So if we do uh, escalator, and we'll move the escalator a little bit away from it. So if we do something like that and something like that. Then say turn it around in the other direction. Yeah, potentially that's what we're gonna do. So we'll move it away a little bit over there and we'll do something like that. So if we do that and then we go down, so now So this is people going go in here. On the other way we're gonna have people go down um, towards this side. And, oh yes, that'll, that'll actually work. That will actually work. 
that is going to be cool looking I think my only issue is are we gonna are we having these things properly spaced so about one one length away right that's one length away and we'll do that one over there this one is a little bit too I don't like it where it is so we'll do one away like over there Okay, that's that is actually one away and then we'll do one away over there this one is further and we don't have the luxury of taking that away too much so what we'll do is we'll just have that one a little bit closer because we can't put them into the wall on the other side actually that's about fine we'll just do like that similarly we'll have to do one away over here kinda one away over there one away Ooh, now we're starting to go in the other direction I imagine yes so now we're doing uh, one away like that like that ooh, and this one is probably gonna be feeding into into here that's fine we'll feed that one around there this one will feed this direction like so actually uh, let's cancel cancel that project oops wrong button um, let's quickly get, just finish off our escalators over here. Escalators down. So if we have it around there, have it around there, around there. Uh, 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 cancel it again. I'm again forgetting that it's the other way around now. So let's do escalators escalators down so now we're going in the other direction like so and like that like so like that like that like that and kind of like so there we go this one has got the down here perfect perfect so those are our first ex exiting escalators over there I kind of like the idea that we're doing there um, I think we'll do more sitting and queuing in this level and then we'll do the straws and the stuff in the in the level down downstairs so let's um, I think that's what we're going to do. So this area is going to look very nice. And we're giving much more use um, area for usage over there. So guys, I am quite excited about how the new terminal is going to look. I mean, the new concourse is going to look. Uh, whether we're going to have enough throughput from the security and all those kind of things, I don't, I'm not too sure, but we will see. Okay, guys, uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked it, hit the button. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.